In this lesson video, I want to start working with images, which will definitely make some improvements to the way our application looks. I'm going to go ahead and restore down the main window that we have been working with so that I can see the package explorer. And I've already expanded the drawable folders that we have available to put in images. And there are different sizes, the high density, a lower density, a medium density, and then extra large high densities and double X high density images will be placed in these different folders. You can see that I have an icon for the launcher in a few of these different folders. The image itself is just going to have a higher density level. Then depending on the device that runs the application, it's going to pick the density level that it will need for that particular device. You do not have to create an image for every single folder but it's definitely a good idea to create an image for at least the medium and the high density devices. And as more and more Android devices are getting larger in size, the extra high density and the double extra high density are gonna become more important. Now for this lesson, I've created a splash image. It's gonna be splash.png, it's a file. And that file, I'm gonna only place in the medium density folder. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna bring this down. And you can see that I have on the desktop already splash and this is a PNG file. I'm gonna go ahead and move that by dragging it over and dropping it on the drawable MDPI folder. It's gonna ask me if I wanna copy the file into that folder or just link it. I prefer to copy all my files over so that I have an actual file sitting inside of that folder rather than just a link. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and maximize this again. I need to also work with now the activity splash.xml. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click that and you can see that we have the text that we had originally created for this layout. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it now. And what I'll need to do now is move over an image view. And that'll be located in the images and media category of our palette. And there's the image view. I'll go ahead and drag that over and drop that down. It's gonna ask me what resource do I wanna actually put in this image view. And it's gonna show me both the IC launcher, which is our Android launcher by default for our application and then also the splash screen, which I just moved over. So it goes through and looks for any of the resources within these drawable folders for us. Or I can choose to create a new icon. I'm going to go ahead and keep the splash highlighted and choose OK. And now I can go ahead and drag this image to the top of my application, to the left of my application, and then also if I look at it, it looks like the bottom and right on mine have already been set. It's good to go to the code, and now what I want to do is, I can see the align parent top here, however I do not see the left, right, or the bottom. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add those attributes in there, just so that I know that it will fill the screen. I'll do Android, layout, underscore, align, and if you do the control space, you'll see that different options we have. I have align, baseline, left, top, right, bottom, parent left, parent top. And the list goes down through here. We're just going to use the basic parent top, parent bottom, parent right, and parent left. So I'll go ahead and set the bottom first and just type in true. And then let's do the next one. Android layout underscore align parent left equals true. And the last one, Android layout underscore align parent right equals true. And if I switch back over to my graphical layout, I can see the image is aligned with the left top and right. Now I also have margins and you can see that it's not all the way stretched to the end of our screen. And that's because we have and that's because we have some margins set up. If I switch back over to the activity splash.xml you'll see that I have this padding on the whole layout itself and you'll see that it's using a dimension which is going to be a type of variable object that we have to work with and it's going to be called activity vertical margin you also will see there's horizontal margins and then also the vertical again for the left right and top so those are going to be located in the dimensions file let's go ahead and expand our values you'll see that we had worked with strings in the past and I also have dimensions down here. If I double click dimensions.xml I can see these two different objects that I have to work with. The horizontal margin on mine is currently defaulted to 16 density pixels. I can move that down if I want. Let's make it 
0.5 density pixels. And then the vertical margin is currently 16. Let's go ahead and make that one 5. All right, I can go ahead and close the dimensions at XML. It's going to ask me to save my changes. I'll choose yes. And if I switch back over to the graphical layout, I'll go ahead and save my changes here. You can see now that the image has expanded closer to the edges of our application. Let's go ahead and run this application. And it looks like I may have some errors. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. If I look over here on my package, package explorer, I'll see that I have an error in the resources directory, the layout, and it's my activity splash.xml. So let's go over to the code and see if I can find that error. Uh, there it is on line 17. I spelled Android wrong. All right, we'll make that change. I'll do a control S to save it again. And now my error has disappeared. Okay, let's run it in the emulator. And you can see the application loads now with the tip calculator image. And we've gotten to our tip calculator. All right, so this concludes this lesson on using images within our application.